Diablo 4 super fans, be warned. On February 21st, last epoch I don't know what you're talking about, man. Launch, and you are going to hate it. This video is for us Diablo 4 enthusiasts who believe Diablo 4 is the perfect ARPG in every way. Also, that drop in the no issues. <laughs> who would notice anything that I do? I'm, I'm like literally epoch, I suggest you stop the bottom of the bottom, so right now. we have That's the freedom true. for now. Okay, now that those people are for gone, now. and it's just us Diablo to do Paris, things, we can finally get into for why now. we're going to hate Last Epoch. My first of many reasons you're going to hate Last Epoch is its price. It's only $35 for the full game. What a stupid number. They'll release right? the DLC store. I'm not going to enjoy myself unless the game uh, is at time. least $70. And there is no $100 early access version? Like, come on, guys. Okay, that $100. Yeah, okay, he this. has a point. They're going to keep updating the game and won't charge for DLC and expansions. This is awful and such a bad idea. Diablo 4. Wait, wait, I, I know it's sarc sarcasm, but what did you say? Even trying here. And get this, they're gonna keep updating the game and won't charge for DLC and expansions. Okay, keep that in mind. Let's see if this changes, if it's a cap. If they say, whoa, guys, okay. So uh, we didn't expect, okay, so we didn't expect it to be as pricey to update the game. So uh, we might have to, you know, make an expansion or two. So let's keep this in mind. Let's see if it changes or not. If it doesn't, this is awful. that's nice. It's such a bad idea. Diablo 4 is going to have an expansion every year. And I know after this year's experience playing this absolute gem of a game, I can't wait to dish out another $70 for the expansion. The next thing I absolutely despise we'll about see. Last Epoch is its skill trees. Yes, I said skill Only trees, cosmetics? meaning more than one. They have a <laughs> That's what Leek said. Tree okay. And a I'm whole complete it. skill tree for every single skill in the game. Again, what an absolutely stupid idea and a waste of time. Wait, wait, this is like a mage. I love mages. Flame Rush, Frost Wall, Rune Bolt, Glyph of Dominion. Okay, chill out, Pursuit. Does this game have PvP? But is there PvP in Diablo? Let me show you an example. No, right? Side That's not. Side using Fireball. <laughs> okay. This, I mean, I mean, okay. Okay. I mean. Okay. Yeah, on okay. the left, we have the Giga Chad Diablo 4's Fireball. Okay, but uh, is, are the old Diablo games better than this, or is this the best Diablo can do? I think people used to enjoy Diablo 2. And 3, they, was, they said it's good, but it's not as good as 2. Old is much better. Oh, to come back and SR late. That's what I'm saying, Pursuit. So freaking clean. And let's look at our <laughs> yikes here. We can either do more damage with fireball or over here we can do more crit damage with fireball. Oh, I would choose crit damage. I mean, who wouldn't? Thank you Blizzard for giving us what we want. Meaningful game-changing choices in a skill tree. Now, let's look over here at this abomination of a skill tree for last epoch. Yeah, that's what I heard a lot that drop. The options we have to augment fireball here are turning it into an ability where we can shoot multiple fireballs in a cone. Or turn it into a plasma ball that does more damage, <clears throat> or adds an explosion, or homing feature, or turning it into a flamethrower. And you do the explosion. Combine these together and have a plasma flamethrower that explodes. I gotta stop. I'm getting too overwhelmed from all these options. I think you can all see what a major waste. Of I would time do the explosion. I mean, are. I can combine them. We can use that time to create something we actually want in an ARPG, like having a system that locks skill points behind finding over 150 random statues, or yes. having a world boss, but make sure it's on a three-hour timer so we can all make sure we're there to kill it. Or dungeons where you need to pick up an idol, but you need Wait, three of them. Is this Diablo or Lost Epoch? I don't even know. The world boss is nice, yeah, but I don't know if I mean. What is it? Diablo. But wait, wait, wait. Okay, 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 okay. The world boss with the three hours until it spawns. Why, why would it suck? I like that. If it's optional for specific items that you get out of it, it's like... Only open three hours a day. Oh, I thought it respawns every three hours. So like, obviously, multiple times a day. So that people have to time together. Okay, and then, okay, okay, the door, ignore what I'm saying then. I didn't understand it properly. 
Ah yes, the good old days. Speaking of being overwhelmed, let's talk stash tabs. Again, Diablo 4 has the perfect amount of them. Five, I, may, maybe six. Okay, I really don't know whoever uses that many tabs. Right guys? This is where I almost threw up in my mouth. When I heard in Last Epoch, you can have over 100 stash tabs. What even is that? Do you think we're stupid and don't know how to manage our stash? Well, I think you're stupid, Last Epoch, for not even making these purchasable with real money. You just True. buy them with in-game gold? Come on, you gotta have at least some pay for convenience or pay for power, but you said you won't. How stupid can you be? Okay, okay, before I keep going down this path, let's get back to stash tabs. One sec, okay. Problem is, I don't have much experience with Diablo games, so I can't really talk much into this, okay? But... Is Diablo Immortal, which is the mobile game, better than Diablo 4? If that's, if, if that's true, then it's just sad, man. In Diablo 4, I mean, we have at this point, classes. I don't know, All man. All we need is five tabs, one for each class. And Blizzard They're both shit, okay, well. <laughs> to make Yikes. meaningful choices on what items we can keep. Sometimes I spend hours just going through all the items, deciding what I need to remove. Some of the most meaningful. Bro, this HUD going through looks all like the meeting two. Literally meeting two HUD from twenty eight. Or deciding what I need to remove. I Some think twenty six got released. I've ever had in Both Diablo. Paid to win. Just me staring at my items no, in my stash. No, twenty ten maybe or less. Or I even know. inventory. Deciding if I should keep a weapon with more damage to healthy enemies. It's like Lost Ark, basically. To slowed enemies. You know what? This brings me to my next point on why us Diablo 4 superfans will absolutely hate Last Epoch. And that's because they have a loot filter. What? Why would you want to pick up less loot? And why would I want to only see items I need? Do they think we're not smart enough to make loot decisions on our own? No, that can't be it. Us Diablo 4 purists are the smartest out of any ARPG player out there. We don't need to be able to filter out white and blue items. We don't need to be able to color grade gear that drops based on having stats like plus minion damage. They don't even know how much fun we have spending countless minutes. I can tell why you like it. Whole inventory of items, carefully looking at all the stats to see what may be an upgrade after every dungeon run. Oh my god, I'm getting antsy. All this talk about a full inventory That's the problem with of this though. items is really make me want to stop making this video right now and get back to my perfect Diablo. I'll say this in the end what I'm thinking right I now. Do, I have two more reasons why you're going to hate Last Epoch. One of which is the crafting system. In our exquisite game, Diablo 4, we can choose one stat to re-roll where it gives you a random new stat. Last Epoch has so many crafting options, I'm only going to tell you a few of my favorites. I mean, I mean least favorites. Least favorites. The first is being able to put the exact stat see, yeah. you want onto a piece of gear. You want fire damage? You can add fire damage. You can transform an item into a unique or set item. Yes, there are sets in the game. How ridiculous. This last part about crafting, I'm sure you will all hate. And that's the ability to craft a powerful weapon on your high level character and give it to your low level character to make them completely overpowered and able to breeze through the early game, destroying everything in sight. How silly. Don't I mean, they yeah. know killing hordes of enemies super fast is not fun at all? Give me my 4 damage Diablo 4 Druid any day, because we are real gamers. Now for my final, and possibly most despised reason us Diablo 4 devotees will hate Last Epoch and its endgame. They have three endgame activities. The first being dungeons where you'll be able to target farm rewards and have varying levels of difficulty. Then they have the Monolith of Fate, which has so much depth to it, but I'm going to keep things short. What is this really game in the background? My inventory full of yellows. It consists of a huge branching mapping system with end game rewards, modifiers, and bosses. Is that with okay. the challenge and rewards increasing with the, the graphics is bad for a sec. further you go. There's a whole lot more to Monoliths. But who wants to go over the end game systems to that extent? I do, and I'll probably make another video about this soon. Then finally, we have the arena. There are two modes. One is the arena of champions, with a set number of waves followed by a boss. Each wave, you can increase the difficulty with a modifier, which increases your reward at the end. Then there is the endless arena. And here's where I feel the developers of Last Epoch are either aliens or working for the Illuminati, because this endless arena has a ladder system. 
a fully functional active ladder system. Okay. Guys, Last Epoch is a small company. So considering it is taking Blizzard months to launch a ladder system, and this game will have it on launch, I am sure there is either some supernatural or future technology at play here, and we should just not trust it. Okay, so for those of you still here and are sure you'll hate Last Epoch, stop watching now. You have a full inventory of y'alls to sift through. Go get to it. Okay, so those of you who are still here, I assume you actually are playing or will play Last Epoch on February 21st. If so, then subscribe to my channel, because I am too, and I do plan on making more videos on this game. Have a good one. Bye. I mean, it's... Pretty good video, I have to say. Okay.